Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. All right, uh, the white uh, speckled rattlesnakes, uh, Perlos Pyrus. We're going to a new home. Uh, mostly because they require Crofab as an antivenin. And that gets quite expensive. This is the male. Quite a large, lovely speckled rattlesnake. He's actually looking for a feed as usual. But I've cut them back because they're just, you know, not terribly active, don't have a lot of space to roam, and just uh, gaining weight. So let's see how this goes. As usual, it will not go as predicted. Come on. Come on. No, I don't want that to come around. Come on, Tubby. There you go. You want to go into a dark space? Come on. Don't go up, go in. Ew. I don't want to go in there. Double zip tie this. And he'll go into another outer mesh bag. For safety purposes. Are these strong enough to put them in by themselves? Yes. Would it allow them better airflow? Yes. But this is a rough nylon texture and they would be prone to getting nose rubs. This is, you know, a very, very fine cotton thread. It's a bit slippery. It's all about protecting the snakes. Um, so we'll make sure that that he gets a nice comfortable bag. You did not rattle. The only rattling you heard was just as it got bumped on his tail. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course, Miss Taipan is really active. Um, <laughs> here it is Wednesday night, and she's ready for more food. Well, hopefully she's um, building some eggs in there.
double on the outer bag uh, deserves to get out <laughs> if it can get out of, <laughs> of all that. Um, yeah, just for temporary storage. We'll park him in his cage. For a minute. Okay, now let me get set up for the female. He probably was pretty relaxed because he thought at some point he was going to get some food. <laughs> oh, rude surprise! <laughs> the female may not be so relaxed. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Boomslang. He's another one that's watching me and what I'm doing with some intensity. He, of course, also thinks that whenever I pop into the room that it's time for food to fall from the skies. He is uh, beautifully colored, huh? Gorgeous. And that's not even a, you know, I mean, that's, that's, you know, just an incandescent bulb, uh, UVA. Um, just, uh, it's not a balanced sort of, you know, white light. I'm sure he would be very nice uh, in that light also, but. Other than getting food from me, he's still quite uh, skittish and goes defensive fairly easily. Okay, so here's the girl. Sorry to disturb you, but it's probably good to remove that. This was partially successful in not getting substrate all over the place. Are we huffy and puffy already? Really? Hi. Hi. Do you think I have something for you? Huh? Do you think I have something for you? I do, but it's not what you think. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty amazing pulling that same hide off and seeing five little babies uh, sitting next to her. Hi. Yes, you're apprehensive. I can see it. So let's just get on with it. But... The babies were a royal nightmare to uh, get feeding. One died outright. Well, two died outright. Uh, actually, it was six, I think. Hi. Come on. You know, uh, I don't normally uh, handle snakes. The only time they come out of their cage is for a vet procedure or a cage cleaning. I don't... Uh, I don't move them around, I don't play with them, I don't do photo shoots. I leave them alone because A, they're dangerous, and B, uh, they stress. And we don't want to stress our animals here. Now, just, just I can already tell she's going to go shooting off into the sunset. Here, it's a nice dark sack. Snakes are supposed to like dark sacks. Okay, there's no... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to go in the dark sack because <laughs> you want me to go there. 
Big booty. Thank you. Yeah, we sort of want to get that splayed out a little bit, so. There's room and stuff to move around a little bit. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. They can bite through the bag. And I think that was her heat, sensing my heat mm -hmm. through the bag, so. Those are those hot hands of yours that she saw right through that bag. Yep. Oh, hi, Mr. Boomslang. Mr. Boomslang is very interested in what goes on in here, especially with other snakes because uh, he's worried that he's going to be predated on, I think. He certainly doesn't like to see big snakes out. He was very upset about Pink being out for a stroll recently, but uh, Pink is the least of his worries in this room. <laughs> Look at him. He's so <laughs> funny. What's going on out there? Is there a snake loose? Is it gonna come eat me? Yeah, I would worry about the, uh, well, probably first, I would worry about the water cobra, uh, sorry, the forest cobra. Cobras are naturally snake eaters. And uh, they would, uh, really interested in that. Hey bud, what are you doing? Hi. No, I don't have any food. Look, he's watching the bag as it moves. Oh, I'm surprised he hasn't scooted into his little hut there. All right, well, let's put her in the outer bag. Both the fields vipers are watching intently too. <laughs> <laughs> Two little faces. Yeah. Everybody wants more to eat than I really am willing to give them. Okay, so now we'll go uh, weigh these two characters along with the crate. 
and uh, get them ready to uh, to go on their way. What? What's the matter, huh? You want to come out? You can come out too, and I'll feed you later. Well, I do have to clean her cage, and that is a big pile of poo. Yes, I know. I got up. Come on out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Isn't she a gorgeous snake? Wow, you do have a bunch of flies now. Sometimes they think that they poop in their cage as bait so that you can take a shot at you. You know, I'm not coming any closer than that. I where my extension handle is. I've got an extension handle, I bet it's next door because she's not making me uh, by your position here. It's one of those get the backhoe sort of things. I'm going to cut up some pest strips and throw them in just to knock those flies down. Because that could be also why she's up front here is I've pooped and I've made a mess and you're going to clean it, Mr. Viper Keeper. And I'm going to sit here and stare at you and threaten you until you do. My snakes really like the cleaning crew. They don't like uh, being around their, their processed uh, rat or mouse or chick or whatever they've been feeding on. Um, but again, they don't really like me coming into the cage to, uh, to fix the problem. There, we got most of the stinky stuff out. How's that, huh? Well, if you 
hold that position, I will uh, go get you something. Mrs. Viper Keeper can entertain you. Well, here you go, Pink. Would you like to uh, process uh, some rent uh, for next time? Yeah. I guess so. Are you happy now? Oh, I'm going to go back in here now. <laughs> I got what I came out for. <laughs> I'm out of here. That tasty. It's even aligned properly for a uh, swallow. Yep. All right, Viper Keeper coughed it up, so I'm out of here. All right. Use the hook to push the glass closed.